CSET Biology, the cover page. Today we'll be testing for reducing sugar. These include glucose, fructose, and of course, maltose. We'll be looking at the presence or absence of reducing sugar. The skills that can be tested, ORR, MM, AI, and teachers are reminded only two skills are to be tested for any particular experiment. The aim is as stated, apparatus, material, and reagent, they are color-coded below. Before we started this experiment, we actually heated the water. Also, we added one drop of Benedict solution, and we are going to add another two drop to the test tube. Though we heated the water, we want to ensure we maintain that temperature above 60, 65 degrees Celsius thereabout. So we're going to just apply a little more heat. Now the tube is placed in a hot water bath. So there we lit the bunsen burner with the splint. And just ensuring that we maintain that temperature we started out with. We actually heated the water before we started the experiment. All right, we could turn off a flame now. Now to the bottom left of the screen, you would observe blue. Which the blue suggests that there is no reducing sugar evident. Green or yellow green or dark green. There's trace as you are seeing on the screen now. There's trace of reducing sugar. We're expecting the change to be as is listed here. So you would have observed in A, B, and C, we're getting that change. What is still hot steam going up there. And we're having an orange color change to say that some amount of reducing sugar is detected. Moderate somewhat. Nice orange color as the color moves into the brick red precipitate. That suggests that there is large amount of reducing sugar the precipitate is formed as the benedict solution reacts with the content of the tube to form a solid product we call a precipitate and of course the benedict solution is blue because of the copper ion there we would have observed for the sucrose solution that it has not changed it maintained the color of the benedict solution and this is going to be the test for reducing sugar or benedict's test this is the only lab food test lab that is required by the csec to be recorded in a table remember a table should have four sides we should not repeat the unit in the cells it should have a header row and a header column and also your table should have a descriptive title of what is in your table where there are blank spaces in the table that will not be used a dash should be used in this space now you're going to be using this space to uh, fill out the rest of the information that you have there in the experiment so you're going to be looking at the other food substances and the procedure observation and inference so forth here the inference of course would capture your discussion and your conclusion thanks much for watching please be reminded to like share and subscribe when you subscribe be reminded to hit that notification bell and select all tell us in the comment did you find this experiment helpful